Hey guys, we are live from the home of Tori and Terry Smith, Marriage Talk Tuesdays with Tori and Terry. And we have our special guest on, Benita Ledette from A Unique Heart. So I just want to uh, give you guys a moment to set up your Facebook watch parties as well as turn those radios down, turn that stereo down, turn that phone all the way down so we can, uh, won't have any feedback here. So, uh, guys, we are in, we have another good show, great show, actually planned for tonight. So, uh, we're going to get right into it in a moment as soon as you guys start sharing. Baby, you already started, huh? Yeah. yeah. We got too much going on. Not too. No, look, we got a watch party. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> so, we're happy. We're happy. We're happy. So, those of you that are in the Houston area, in case you're wondering, what are they doing at home and not in the studio? Storm here, you guys. It's storming. It's more than storming. So I don't know. Um, you know, and it's going to be fine tomorrow, but I mean, it's a serious Tennessee. You know, you can be back on the year. Yeah. Huh? Huh, Mama? Can you hear us, Manila? <laughs> yes. Say something. Hello. Say something. Hello. Hello. Okay. All right, now it's better. Okay. All right, looks like we got a little feedback. Let me see how to get rid of that. Can you turn your, your phone on? Can you turn down? It, mine is not on. Oh, it's your volume on your computer. Okay, let's see. Do I need to turn it down? Yeah, because we got, uh, okay. we have an extra show plan. Okay, how is that? Do you hear the echo? I can hear it. Okay. Forgive us, we got a little technical difficulties, so we are working through this right quick, and then we will get started momentarily. Okay, how is that? Is that better? Okay. Um, okay, so how do we normally fix this when we have, it sound like it's playing toy? Huh? No, it's, it's on the live stream on Facebook. The thing is, is that, um, yeah, let, let me, well, we didn't know it was going to do that. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, you guys are going to have to hear us in duplicate here. No. <laughs> I know that's not going to work. I thought it's not going to work. So you want to create us anymore fixing this? Sure. Okay. So I'm, I, I just muted the volume on there, but neither can't hear us. But we will, as soon as we get started, I'll take her back and, um, you know, just put her volume back on. So can you still hear us, Benita? I can hear you. Okay. 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 All right. Maybe we're going to pray this in while I try to fix this as well. Go ahead, baby. Okay. We're live on the air. Yes, it's Tuesday. Father God, we invite you in. What a day this has been. You know, it's just a, it's been a lot with uh, just things going on with the environmental in the world, from fires to flash floods. But Lord, we trust you. Your hand is upon us, Father. We are set apart. You have swooped us up and put us in a special category, Lord, the believers, your children. So Father, we ask that you be with us tonight as we continue to press forward. We are going to press forward toward the mark. As we just come together on Gospel Radio Nation, we come together declaring and decreeing that you are Lord as we lift up everyone, Lord Jesus. We have a discussion tonight and we want to invite you in that you speak to your children. We thank you for using us as facilitators and just as stewards, Lord Jesus. We trust you, Lord, if we place our hand in yours, asking you to decrease us and increase you in every way. In your precious, loving, matchless, all-powerful name, amen. 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 A welcome to the episode of Mary Talk Tuesdays with Terry and Terry. And as you guys can tell, we're not in the studio tonight. We do have our yeah. special guest, though, Benita Ledette. And uh, for those of you that saw our TV show last Friday night, she was one of our guest uh, stars yeah. on there. So, the love guru. The love guru. The love guru. Yeah. <laughs> so, the love guru, we're going to introduce you a little bit later. Uh, but uh, why don't you say hi to the people? 
Hello, happy Tuesday night. Hello. Did you say something? I'm sorry. Yes, I did. Can you not hear me? Yeah, I hear that echo again. No, everybody's saying that they don't hear the echo, but I do. So uh, I'm just trying to figure it out. Let me, let me see something here. If I turn down a little bit, can you still hear Do you hear yes. echo at all? Just a little bit. Do you hear an echo? Mm -mm, I don't hear one. Okay, I think we, I think we got it then. Yeah, I can hear you, but we just got the echo going. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead. My wife just prayed us in. Uh, just read a little bit here. If you guys are interested in being a guest on Marriage Talk Tuesdays, make sure you email us at ifwcmc the number one at gmail.com. And if you want to be on the TV show, it's Love and Black, the number one at gmail.com. Also, if you guys have anything to share about your marriage, just like the uh, lady in the letter uh, wrote tonight, feel free to email us at ifwcmc, the number one at gmail.com, and we'll gladly put you guys on. So before we get into tonight's subject, last week we did a subject on um, women that leave their uh, children for their men. Yeah, and, put men first. Yeah, you can tell about that. So anyway, um, they um, put their men first. And what happens is that, you know, so many people started chiming in because they thought it was something else. Like, you know, hey, feed the uh, children first before the men. But it wasn't about that at all. It was about a woman being either promiscuous and strung out on drugs and then she kept losing her children and it was about to lose them to the system. Well, anyway, uh, one of our uh, colleagues, Michael Dangerfield, and his wife were commenting. He was actually the other guest on our show last week. And what happened was he ended up, uh, him and his wife, they were getting a lot of feedback and comments. So they decided to do a recap. Yeah, of we caught their recap. Yeah, we caught their recap. So, and then on our end, people were still, matter of fact, as of today, people were still responding to the poll that we put out. So it was so interesting that um, this particular poll uh, garnered so much interest, you know. And Benita, I know this is not your, 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 your field, but, uh, but I don't want to leave you out. What do you think about women that, you know, just total disregard for their children, put the man first, and then would rather lose the children in the system and stay with that man or continue on with their addiction? What do you think about um, that? I just feel like I just feel like that um, the woman just don't have any type of uh, priorities for herself. Like okay. like there's there's no there's no self love for herself. No priorities. Um, like she just don't have a, a meaning and value of family and, and 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 kids and being a mother. Like that just doesn't matter to her. Well, you know, not just that, but what about herself? Her self value. Exactly. That's what I'm. That's exactly what I'm saying. Because if she valued herself, then uh -huh. everything else that she valued would line up with it. Wow. Okay. So anyway, let, let me ask, let me ask you this, Benita. Do you have uh, your computer? Did you change it when I went to Facebook? You said the what now? Did you change it when you uh, when we clicked over to Facebook? Are you no, still on you... Zoom? Am I on Zoom? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm on Zoom. No, no, no. I meant when we went to Facebook. Did you go to Facebook on your computer to share it? On my phone, I did. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to figure out why we still got the, uh, the 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 delay and the echo. I still haven't been able to figure out. My so, phone is my phone is off. Okay, no, no, it's not your phone. It's, uh, I, think, I, thought it was, I think it's the computer, but don't worry about it. We're going to figure it out here. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, I know we got Michael on the, you know, he's out in the field. So, he is going to respond to some of the uh, comments that him and his wife, Pam Pam, uh, had actually uh, experienced. And they went on to say that, um, you know, the, um, 
they got so many, so much feedback, I'm sorry, that they ended up doing a show on their own last night, recapping what we did and putting things more into, into perspective and all. So, uh, you know, we're gonna wait, I was waiting for their comments to come in, I saw them on, but uh, let, me, let me say hi to a few people here while, while we got them. Uh, we got Trina, what's up Trina, what's happening? So glad you were able to get- Hey everybody. Out. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bartley, what's happening? Michael, hey man, make your comments now so I can read them on the air here for everyone. Also, we got Yolanda. Hey, Yolanda, how you doing? What's up, Mary? What's up? Uh, I'm about to say your name, Terry. Uh, Cynthia, and uh, who else we got here? Yolanda, Pete, Beth, Kevin from Maryland. What's happening, my Maryland buddy? What's up, Marty? Reginald, Tammy, uh, Janice, and, uh, and, and Tam Tam is with us. Who you got, baby? Hey, I got Marty right now, and I can't see the rest of the world. I'm just up. But hey, everybody, <laughs> we're all here. Gang's all here. We're Gang's ready to roll. We're going to peel back the layers of this idea tonight. Yeah. This is a topic. This is a topic that I'm sure a lot of you, if it's not something that you wonder, it's somebody that you know that does. So yeah. it can help you. So tonight's show topic is about a woman that's single, and she wants to know why am I still single? You know, and there's a lot of different reasons that, you know, people can be single in 2020. And I mean, this could be for people that have commitment issues, people that really, um, they want to be in a relationship, but they don't know how to maintain a relationship. And for me, I'm just saying it's COVID-20, uh, COVID-19. So, or they've gotten with hard heads, you know, <laughs> yeah, but, So anyway, hey, uh, Benita, what do you say about that? Well, okay, I, I think it just depends on the individual um, herself. Um, some women are single because they chose to be single. You know, they, they you know, yeah. it's, they're single by choice because meaning they're, they're not going to settle for anything. Okay. Um, you know, you so, but then so I'm just saying by choice, like, because some people are just, uh, just very picky about like the man that they want. And they just think that a man's supposed to be, you know, Mr. Perfect, you know, they're looking mm -hmm. for that perfect one. And that, you know, we talked about that before that man doesn't exist, you know? And so they're looking oh, for woman. Mr. Perfect and have <laughs> our woman and, huh, and have on them. Those, those people just don't exist. So, you know, sometimes when you're just being too picky and too choosy that will have you by yourself, that you will be single. Yeah. So we totally agree with that. And what, what do you think, babe? No, no, I agree 100%. I really believe that. I think that people should get out of their own way mm -hmm. and out of their own head. You know, I mean, it's one thing to want something, but are you prepared for it? And you have to do what's, what's right to prepare for it. And you got to be good if God gives you something that you didn't exactly have in mind. Because so many people are making lists and I'm like, you know, like you said, the perfect, you know, guy or the perfect girl. And it's, you know, it's about what God wants because that's purpose driven too. Just as your career is purpose driven, your life is purpose driven. Also you, you know, being a steward because you're stewarding whoever that is that God has assigned to you. And so when you get out of, God can't get in when you're in the way Ooh. and you're handling everything. He cannot get in. Sure yeah, so you just keep, you know, running into brick walls till you walk around or climb over, you know. And that means really, I mean, I, I say that I don't mean to make a joke out of it because I know it's serious for some it's people. It's very serious. Um, especially, well, for some it is and for some it may not be as much. And so I think that there's some that are, you know, thinking, oh, I'm kind of running out of time. And there's others that are like, I'm out of time. I'm overdue, you know. <laughs> So that's why I said it may not be as serious for some as others, but the most important thing is, is to recognize that in your prayers, because I'm sure most people pray for mm -hmm. me, is you want to make sure that you really surrender all to Christ now, because you're going to have to surrender all to Christ later. So that's why I said, know what you are signing up for and what it is that you really want to be a part of, because it's a whole nother club. <laughs> married, being married is, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. But we're a good club though. We're in a good club. Yeah, we are. Yeah. So, um, so you have to prepare yourself. Exactly. That is asking God to give you yes. what will last. Because if you keep leaning on your own understanding, most likely it won't have that lasting power. But when you ask God, equip me for what it is you want to give me and then be good with it. Exactly. Because it can mean something that you're like, hmm. he's going to stretch you. Yeah. He's going to stretch you because it's all for his glory. Yeah. It's all about him. 
So check this out. I, I, I'm sorry, we, I'm, I got a twisted back, twisted cap back a little bit. I did get the comment from Michael that I was looking for, mm -hmm. and he's referring to last week's show when we were talking about, um, you know, women that give up their children for their man. Right. So he said, uh, yes, we had some great, good feedback. One great response was that a man should love the woman so much that he should work with her to ensure the kids are taken care of. And you know, Michael, that's what I said uh, last week. I was I, you actually you and I at that point where we figured that we have you have to talk uh, as a man. You have to be able to talk to the woman as like, okay, what's going on with you? The dynamics here in this household. The, but the only way that uh, I see that wouldn't work is if both of them were were addicts, because that was part of the letter that the woman was an addict, but even when she wasn't, she was still neglecting her children. What's up, Linda J? Hey, Linda Miranda, how you doing? Hey, Yeah, somebody said, uh, so, and then he also said, also the children, boys and girls are impacted in similar and different ways and will undoubtedly have to deal with this if they are to grow up to have healthy relationships. His wife, Tam Tam, said, maybe the woman feels that she won't find the man she needs. It's easier to say don't want a man than to show your vulnerability. And you know, both you guys are, are absolutely right on that. So uh, we thank you guys for your comments and we thank you guys for just coming in to kind of recap uh, you know, what we went through last week. But again, for those of you that are watching saying, wow, what is he doing, two different topics tonight? You know, we have one topic, but that particular subject was so big that we had to come back to it. So uh, we, we, we thank our guests for sitting through this. You know, and I figured out, Benita, I figured out what was going on. When I, on Facebook, I didn't mute the Facebook one. So uh, now we're going to do it. Oh, yay, because I was going to do it. Uh, you know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Michael, and thank you, Tam Tam, uh, for that. And we actually have an IG post for tonight. Look at this so the post is, who is it? I thought I used to say, why am I still single and is falling in love by the third day considered thirsty? So Ooh. check it out. IG said 50% yes and 50% no. So it's split. What? It's split. And Facebook, wow. wow. And I guess you figure somebody might see what you had to say. So you want to remain in love. But um, it was seen. It was seen. Facebook people and stuff. Well, look, so, Nancy so Barley, well, like, you see, guys can weigh in. Let us know what you think. Exactly. We got some weighing in now. Uh oh, Nancy uh, Barley say, biblically hey. speaking, the man is supposed to find a woman. If a woman meets a man who she's interested in, she might let him know, but it's up to the man to pursue the woman. So, that find it. Find it a good thing. Linda J. Says, hey, y'all, I have to admit, I am very picky, which is why I'm single. But I'm so good with that's that. Right. She, that's right. You got to be good with it. You got to be good with it because you, like you said, I'm picky. So I'm going to wait till God does it. Yep. I'm going to wait till God does it. Fight on for taking your hands off the wheel. I love it. Yep. Tammy says, I'm single by choice. I'm focusing on me and my peace in this season. You know what? Ooh, that is so big, Tammy. Yeah. That is so big because a lot of people I get like out of yes. and they get out of these relationships and they don't put the other relationship to bed bed right they they, they yes, talk yeah. about the guy or they talk about the woman and like as if they're still there and they're, they're just still mad about something and but this does it, it creates uh confusion and confliction in the new relationship that they jump right into exactly. so you can't jump from relationship to relationship without mourning the loss of the previous one because That's if bad. you don't you will be in the same oh. position you are in I guarantee you, you will. You got to do your work. I got over here, you know, in my, we have that standing right there. Marty said, Proverbs 5, 6, just trust. We have to trust him. Yeah. Marriage, he created marriage. So how we going to go in? That's like us trying to go fix, you know, some foreign car or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not a foreign car. Well, we don't see it. That's the thing. He is the creator. It originated with him. So exactly. We don't know how to do it. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Do no, it. no you doubt. put it his way, not your way. Yeah. So my it's wife always right. used to put up a uh, when we were doing marriage ministry in the church, yeah. she would put up a sign yeah. and it, it had yeah and it, it, it had a straight arrow, but it also had a left turn and a right turn, and the left turn said God's way, and the right turn said my way, 
And mm -hmm. actually, like, I'm sorry, honey, it was like, you know, those infinite finite lines where you have the positive numbers and the integer and the, um, and the negative numbers. One way was God's way, the other way was no way. So it was like, which one you, you Exactly. So it was that straight road, but then it was like, which way are you going to go? And you got to do it God's way. It may seem painful, but I tell you one thing, and I think we can all attest to this. When we chosen our way, and me and my sister had this term, it's like, go to the back of the class. He's going to make you go back and repeat. And you will. So now you're wasting time. You got to do stuff. Twice. I hate doing stuff twice. I want to do it twice the right the time because time. it's a waste of time. And so it you need to do it right because you get further, faster. You get further Ooh, faster. No doubt. No Trust doubt. The Lord. No doubt. And start preaching. Hey, you just want to be ministers, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm loving the gospel. Yeah. So, again, it, it, it's all biblical from our perspective because. You know, a woman shouldn't look that thirsty out there, you know, looking for a man. I mean, if when when guys see that and, and when they see, you know, uh, I mean, I can see like a, a little flirt or something, you know, you know, because people are flirtatious. So that's that I think that's cool. But when when, when that woman gets into, you know, gets up to you and she starts asking you personal questions about your finances and about different things like that, that you know, then I think they're moving a little bit too quickly. All right. So oh, yeah, I, you have to let the man lead. I mean, you want to see the exactly. man can lead. <laughs> this position will start out out of order. Exactly. I mean, what do you think, Benita? You're here. I mean, he, I mean, tell me what you think. I know that you're well, right. and you got stuff on your mind. So. Well, I just think that um, when you first meet someone, I just think that you should just, um, I would say, absor um, absorb the person. You know, just kind of be 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 humble and just do a lot of absorbing because if they're putting on an act, eventually it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and it will come out quicker than what you think. But if you go into the relationship desperate, like you say, thirsty, you know, you just met him. Oh, I'm in love because you had a good kiss or whatever, or because he's smelling mm -hmm. good, or oh, because he's portraying or she's portraying you know, portraying to be somebody else, you're all in love. But then when the layers started coming off. Ooh. And you see the person for who they and are. you see that yeah. here yeah. is not who she's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, look, look, I thought you said that uh, Maserati was yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, and that's the problem right there. Yeah. That would be a problem right there. I know, right? So anyway, hey, you guys, uh, if, if you're just yes. tuning in, we are uh, live from our home tonight it's just because storm, of the storm yeah. and it is pouring down, raining outside. So if you're watching, sometimes you might see either us or our guests freezing up for a moment. Just know it's not us. It's the internet and we can't have any control over it. You know? We're here. We're, We're here. here. We're right yeah. here. So we have uh, Benita Ledette. She's talking uh, on behalf of how she feels about love. And Benita, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself people tell them who you are and uh what you have going on uh, my name is benita ledette and i am the creator and owner of L love in a box uh, the name of my company is unique heart um, i have a unique heart for people um, i just created a product that i felt like were yes <laughs> yes somebody loves you baby <laughs> You know what? You know what? When we was putting it together, I never even thought about Patty. I promise. Like all we thought about was we wanted to let the person know that they were loved. You know, and then after, and so when I figured it out after we got the box and we were getting ready to launch. My business partner said, Benita, he said it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna have a good day tomorrow. I said, why you say that? He said, Patty came on. I said, what that mean? You know, and he wow. said, somebody loves you. I said, Patty, you know, like it just, like I, I wasn't even thinking of that when we was putting well, it together. But after all. he said that, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Patty became my favorite song because I was like, oh, this is lining up with the box. Yes, yeah. yeah. It, it just, it never even dawned on me. Never dawned on me. Has you, have you reached but, out to her? Um, have you reached out to you? I have not reached out to her yet. I said that I that I was. It's like I want to, but it's like you you kind of scared, kind of nervous. But I, I, you know what? Let me know. I'm gonna speak this. In, hey, I'm gonna speak this. In. What's happening? Hey, can you give my girl Benita a call? 
You know, Hi. I've met Talk Patty. To you later. I've you. met Patty in a very <laughs> intimate situation. I met Patty years ago. Patty is so down to earth. She would love it. Uh -huh. She would love it. You know what? This is. Let me tell you what my my dream is. And so, um, I really would like. I think I'm going to go ahead and reach out to her because I really would like to see if she could perform for me at my 50th birthday party Ooh. in March. That's what I would really love. That would be awesome. So yeah, I, I want to reach out to her. And if, if she would be willing to perform, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say this. I, I would love reach that. out to her because I met her like 19. Who is she from the 19th century? Yeah, like 1982, 83. <laughs> and she was in San Francisco and she was doing a play. My arms are too short to box with God, which is a powerful, powerful statement. And so um, when I met her, I met her while she was in Chelsea, then she gave me tickets. And then I had to talk to her again. I was like, oh, and come back. And so she gave me tickets. You know, it wasn't necessarily tickets, just got to go twice to see her and kind of hang yeah. out with her group. But she's that down to earth. I remember I had on a bandana that had all these colored rhinestones on it. You know, I was wearing a bandana. And she was like, oh, give me that scarf. I mean, you know, just very down to earth. So you should reach out to her and tell her how you feel. Tell her about your business. You might be very pleasantly surprised. And you might get one of those heavy pirates. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So now that we have introduced our guests to you guys, uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get to the letter here, uh -oh. and it's just kind of interesting. And um, you know, we were trying to figure out which letter to pick for the love doctor, but um, I, because people are, you know, there, there's a lot of single people that hit us up and everything about getting into a relationship or wanting to be on one of our shows when we do a relationship show. I thought we'll read one of the relationship letters since we have a love doctor or a love guru. Yeah. She knows about a lot, of, a lot of different titles. So uh, help help us out. see if she can help us out here. So anyway, okay. so let me read. Dear Tori and Terry, I know you deal with married couples, but I want to be in a relationship and possibly get married soon. It seems like every time I get involved in a relationship, I find a way to mess it up. My last relationship ended after five months because I scared him away by telling him that I love him. I believe my problem is that every time we're feeling each other, I fall, I either fall in love too quickly or I get scared that he's going to leave. So I get really clingy. Therefore, he does leave. I don't know what you need me. I don't know what you need from me to tell you all that is going on with me, but I need your help in getting to the bottom of my issue and figuring out why I always end up single. So, of course, I always take it to scripture. But maybe this is just your first time on the radio, so it's always take it to scripture since we know this is, we got to put God in it, right? And um, yes. in, 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 in scripture, it, I, I got two of them actually tonight. Proverbs 18 and 22, he who finds a wife finds a good thing, mm -hmm. and not just that, and he obtains favor from the Lord. That's right. You yeah. took it. The second one. He, you took it right. Huh? I said you one? took it right out of my mouth. I was gonna say that. Yes. Exactly. My second one is Proverbs thirty-one and ten. An excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. Amen, amen. So women, I, I, I on our television show um, a couple episodes ago, I was talking to the women about their self worth and their value. And showing, uh, not showing them, but telling them about a couple of different things. I mentioned Muhammad Ali when he first saw his daughter in some scantily uh, clad uh, clothing, so to speak. And, <laughs> and what happened was he, he went into, he sat her down and said, look, you know, the finest jewels, you have to dig deep. And, and, and mines and all to find, you know, a, a, a diamond, which is still encrusted in coal. And you have to put a, tons of pressure on it in order for the diamond to be revealed. Same thing with an oyster. You got to go all the way to the deep depths of the ocean to find these oysters just to get a nice pearl. And you're only getting one pearl out of each oyster. So the, 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 the point of the story is, you know, don't give away your cookie so easy, right? Because your cookie should remain in that cookie jar until the right person 
finds and purchases that cookie jar. I don't mean by your wife, but I mean purchase that cookie jar. You know what I mean in that sense. So I just, you know, I, I, I just, you know, I, I want to let women know, hey, we value you more when you not necessarily pay hard to get, but show your work in the beginning. You know, and, and the title of the show that we were doing was Lose with Marcus Wiley when we were uh, talking about um, having sex on the first date does it spoil the relationship. So anyway, I, I said my scripture, uh, Saul says, everything that glitters is not gold. Everything that is found is not worth keeping. Whoa, like that one. Hello. Also, just because a man finds you doesn't mean he yes. is the one. Just when we look for a house or a car, the first one might not be the right one. Mm. Oh, you know, this one too tight. Oh, this one too loose. <laughs> so pick wisely, right? Cam says, it is too cliche to ask God for a spouse. I remember crying out to God because I was struggling and longing for companionship. I truly believe that God heard me. And when he saw fit, he gave me my husband. Um, so two things, well, one thing about that, right? Because we have free will, God has given us all free will. Yes, he might lead us into that direction where that man is, or he may lead that man to us so we can, you know, make that connection. But God is not going to say, marry her. He didn't even tell Adam to marry Eve. Those words were never uttered. What happens is that he might... He, he might lead the horse to water, but it's up to the horse to drink. So that, that I know I, I, I threw a couple of different cliches in there, but that's it's the truth. God is not going to tell you to marry this woman. He will lead you to her. And like Saul said, everything that good ain't go. You know, he might lead you to her, but it might be her sister that God wants you to get with, <laughs> you know? Sasha, you know, I mean, I'm, I just doing much rich and everything. Wait, wait, what do you say, Bernita? Well, this 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 is just my opinion, and and I, I listen to you very well. Um, okay. Let me just say this: okay. the young lady that that wrote in the, the letter, she, she she is one of the reasons why I created the box. She is one of the reasons. It sounds like there's something deep within herself that she needs to get corrected so that when she starts meeting men, she don't think that they complete her. Ooh. Sounds like she's not complete by herself. When she meets the man, he is a bonus to her, an added bonus. He, he shouldn't be completing her. She should be complete on her own. So that's why I created this box. If, 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 if singles would just take this journal, this journal right here, the self-love journal, if they would take this journal and just follow through with it, you will find out so many aha moments about yourself yeah. to where you would take the time to learn about yourself and what makes you happy and complete on your own. And once you figure that out, you'll know when you meet the right one and when you don't. That along with prayers, God will guide you. You will know that you know that you know. But yeah. as long as you don't know that about yourself, you you're gonna think everybody you meet, oh he's the one. Oh now he's the one. He now you you know no. You gotta take time to know yourself and know what's going on and heal whatever it is because apparently if you keep making the same mistake over and over again, there is something empty on the inside of you that is not complete. And who's the common denominator in all of those relationships? <laughs> the the one person. That's it. The one, the person. one person. Exactly. Exactly. Baby, what you got? My thing is, I got more than one. Um, I, let me just finish writing this. Okay, so the first thing I have is, and this is in preparation, okay? So these are just bullet points. Be okay with being God's first, okay? Because he first loved us, right? So be okay with being God's first. And that means loving yourself. Love yourself. You know that God loves you. You know you're worthy of love. So you know you're worthy of love. So that's not a question. And be good with that. Be totally good with that. Second, trust in the Lord with all your heart and yes. soul. Okay? 
So you trust in the Lord with all your heart and soul. It, 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 permeates, it radiates in your body. It radiates in your talk and how you, you move. You're moving, moving fluidly and you're moving in time with the Lord. You are in order. Okay? Perfect order. Third, do your work. You know you. You know your shortcomings and what that looks like when it comes to accepting what God gives you when, you know, because we have to say, not my will, Lord, your will. So you have to be ready to accept whatever it is that Christ gives you. Truth be told, Christ may give you something to stretch you. He may give you someone who has a child right. where you're like, oh, I don't have children. I don't, I don't know. I don't want any children. You know, you never know what God's plan is. Exactly. It may be that you are the breadwinner for a minute. He may be in school and, you know, a work in progress. Same with her. I mean, when, you know, with him regarding her, it could be the same thing. She may have children. She may be in school. You never know. So, you know, just again, you may, you're going to be stretched and you need to be prepared to be stretched. Because again, this is about God. This is not about you. The next thing, again, like I said, everything is in God's timing. So you must trust his timing because that's how you know that you're on the right track. You're going to be really good with it. And it may be hard. Um, last two, continue to be who you are. And do not compromise your faith and your walk with the Lord. A lot of times women are single and they're so engrossed in the Lord, their faith walk and they're praying and their devotion. Then they meet somebody and then they're like, oh, I haven't prayed in five days. God's a jealous God. So you got to make sure that you are with Christ because you're going to need Christ every step of the way. Because when you do become a wife, when you do because of, become a husband, be prepared to become a praying wife and a praying husband because that's what your new role is. Exactly. Then lastly, loving yourself is attractive. Oh. It's beautiful. It's yes, infectious. It and so that allows you to have the bandwidth to love others such as children, his family, her family you know, um, her children, whatever the case may be, even them, when it's hard, it will allow you that bandwidth because you've got to have that love filled up inside of you first in order to just give it out like that. Wow. And give it out like candy, but with, with worth, with worth, and with substance and with purpose. That's right, that's right. And you'll have the provision that you need going forward. Trust and believe God will give you everything that you need. Like I said, he's the one that's going to give you the bandwidth because it all comes from him because God is love. That's right, that's right. So I got, a, I got a couple comments here. Jackie says, when a woman cultivates her relationship with the Lord first and foremost, the spirit will guide her through the dating world, which can be sometimes treacherous. Treacherous. <laughs> she will garner wisdom and patience. So when she meets a man, she will recognize if he's authentic or if he sent in his representative. Wow. You know that representative. Be careful of the representative. Yep. That's a smooth talking. He's going to show himself. <laughs> Give him time to show himself. He always That's says. a smooth that talking. Face brother. start dropping. Face yeah, start dropping. Right. <laughs> Michael says it's important to be transparent and say what you're looking for. Uh, Mr. Barney says some women attempt to tailor make the man they're asking for. God knows how to bring couples together. Trina says yes, trust in the Lord. That's right. That's right. Um, I say, first of all, I think the woman, she's closing herself off to potential relationships by jumping in too fast. She jumps into the deep water and then she gets there and turns around to swim, right? So she's moving too fast. She needs to sit back, let this relationship just gradually happen, you know? And we, we say sometimes that there's no time limit on things. Um, and there, I don't want to sound hypocritical because I fell in love with my wife almost immediately. And I even proposed to her like really quickly also. So, but I knew what I wanted. And like Benita, you were saying about being complete. I was complete in myself and my wife, she was complete in herself. And that's why we, we, we work well together. And we uh, have a marriage that we form that works well with, with, with ourselves. And most importantly, we both have a covenant with God. Yeah, and may I, if I may, also too, we let God lead us. Yeah. Because uh, our marriage, and I know you guys have heard us say it before, like, oh no, they don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, for, I'll make it short, God. But the thing was, when we, and I, I don't know if we've ever shared this with you all, I know we do with our friends. When my husband and I first got together, our pillow talk, if you will, because we're a long distance, we would talk about, let's oh, start a marriage ministry. We should start a marriage ministry and join a church and we're going to move and blah, blah, blah. That was like the it. That was it. 
we all of this, we had no idea all of this, but that's what God will do. It's like, oh, y'all trying to honor me, please? Yeah. Y'all are so cute. I got, some, I got some for you because of the fact that you are focused on me and that you guys fuck me. I mean, because you know, let's keep it real. Songs of Solomon, all that can be very romantic when you're on the phone late night. So I mean, the Lord knows what He's doing. First of he all, knows what He's doing. Yeah. I know that's a lot of readers because we have a lot of authors uh, that we have a lot of authors on that follow us. But if you guys really want to read a good book about a love, good love romance story, read Song of Solomon. <laughs> he do had it going on. He do had it going on. He just melted. You know what? I guess I can say I don't really. I, I love the King James version, but if you get another version that that's more modernized. Uh, it's still saying the same thing. It's just different. You, you'll probably truly understand it. But if you're a literist, I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> I just made it up. <laughs> anyway, uh, you will love the King James Version. Sam Bam says, very true. Singles must know that you have to be told to enter into a marriage. You know what, Sam Bam? A lot of people don't know that. They don't know they have to be told. So many times we hear, he completes me or she completes me. No, you have to complete yourself. A marriage isn't, everybody say 50 50. A marriage is 100, 100 going in. 150. No, no, no. Right. This party is 100. No, going I'm in. saying 150 because you're going to be stretched because yeah. we know the vows. I said it before. We're all dressed up the day of the wedding. We're not thinking about it. So, yeah, we got somewhere to go, somewhere to up and to eat, people to see, you know, when we're doing our vows because we got all yes. these people there loving on us. And then, sure enough, we're saying, you know, dressed up, I mean, gown, flowers. Oh, yeah, and sickness and hell, rich and poor, yeah, all good and bad. All that stuff. That's what I mean. That 150 is going to be tested. Trust and believe you're going to have to bring your A game with that 150% because somebody at some point will be unemployed. Maybe. Somebody will get catch, you know, catch ill. I mean, there's a lot that you stand toe to toe with each other for, you know, bearing parents. You have to be I in mean, that Everything. There's so oh. much, you know, there's a full gamut. But I, 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 I just want to say this one. Well, well, let me say there are many times when your spouse will not be able to give you the same percentage you put in. That, that's why I wanted to finish mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. you, I want to pick yeah, up on your point. Sure. If you are not strong, you will be quick to exit the marriage. Again, I want to tell you this. Exactly. Uh, um, some people want to be married, but many, I'm sorry, but may not understand the work that has to be put in. That's right. So, Tam Tam, you and my wife, y'all, y'all must be separated at first. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just want to add this one last question, you guys. Express your faith up front to somebody that you meet and let them know that it's non-negotiable. People will even try to play like, oh yeah. I, you know, I remember when I was dating, it's like, oh, do you believe in God? So like, oh yeah. A lot of people claim, I mean, it's a lot of people that claim they believe in God. Ask, do you walk with them? That's a whole what? other story because if they're like, huh, then you know. <laughs> when we first met, I, one, of the, one of the things that I asked her was, well, now we, we were talking about, uh, you know, our faith walk, but, uh, you know, I, I, I said, I noticed that she was saved, and I asked her, how long has she been saved, and I told her, you know, at the time, I was, you know, a few years into my faith walk, and um, about eight years in? You were eight years yeah, in. I was, yeah, years I was eight years in to my faith walk, and then, so we, we knew from the, from the jump that this was ordained already. But you know what the term he used was? Because I said that I had been in my faith once, and he was like, he said- well, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm setting up this for two things. No, no, I know. I'm setting up for two things. So I said something, and then she was something. She said something that uh, that I was looking for. Okay, so well, let me just say this one. You you first. So he had said, how long have you been in your faith walk? And I said, and he said, I'll be notes to God. You know, it was like that phrasing that you read in the Bible, you know, I'll be notes. I mean, I don't use the word be notes. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. I said, I'll be it. I'll be, I, was, I thought it was be notes. No, 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 I'll be okay, it. Okay, I'll be it. But you know that terminology, you know the terminology that King we don't. James Version. Yeah, we don't talk like that regularly, right? So when I saw, I was like, oh, huh? We were speaking God's love language. There it yeah. is right there. So and then, then we, the point. We, we meet with her. So literally, I had stopped dating and I was seriously looking for a Proverbs 31 woman, right? And uh, I wasn't finding it at nowhere, church, anywhere, right? And matter of fact, a girl at church asked me uh, something about going out. And I was like, no, because and she said, why? And I said, well, are you a Proverbs 31 woman? And she said, what's that? And I said, well, if you don't know, you ain't it, right? So 
when uh, my wife and I were talking, I left, I know, right? when my wife and I were talking the first on, on our first date, and I messed up. Always, you know, give your number to the woman, right? I made a mistake, rookie mistake, and asked her for her number. And no, 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 no. You no. gave me yours. I'm sorry, I gave her my number. Her. That's right, that's right. See, I'm making a rookie mistake again. But anyway, I, I, I gave her, and as soon as I hit the send button, I said, no, why did I do that, right? But she came, and it was it was fortuitous because she came back with, no, as a Proverbs 31 woman, I would prefer this. And then she gave me her number, right? So when she said that, it was on. What they say, on like what a popcorn? So that's our love story. For those of you that, that, that want to know, for those of, that that's that's our first that, that was our first conversation. Now back to our regular story program. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but Mr. Bartley say, if you can complete oh, if you can can complete sharing my previous comment. I'm sorry, I, I didn't finish. Hold on, let me go back to it. So to tailor make the man they're asking for. God knows how to bring couples together. Did I miss something? Mm-hmm. Must be this one here. Oh. No, I said that one too. Oh, well, I'll just reread it. Oh, no, I did miss. During the waiting or holding pattern between relationships, God wants us to reflect while focusing on him. And that's him good. is the capital H. That's, that's, that's for God. God has to work on her as well as prepare someone for her. Some guys are worth having, but they aren't looking for marriage. Wow, that was good. I, yeah, thank you for because I think I I missed that. I you know, I was jumping around looking at two phones here. Thank you, thank you yeah, for that. You gotta give people a chance to get they can read it out. You know, I mean, you really do. Let them just show themselves. There's no pressure. So for those of you that are commenting and those of who we have on screen here, I have a question. Do you believe that? Saying I love you, like really quickly into a relationship, does that affect the relationship? Affect it negatively? Yeah. What do you think, Benita? Benita, what do you think? Either one, like this is not a. I say, okay. What do you think? I say yes, and I say yes, and the only reason why I say yes that is what? because. Yes to what? You're saying yes, what? it affects it. Yes, it affects it negatively yes. or positively. Or affects it negatively. Okay. And the only reason why. I... Hmm? Well, now I was saying, it, whoever whoever is answering, does it affect it? Yes, in a positive, or yes, in a negative. Okay, you said negative. I would say, I, yeah, I would say negative. And, and the only reason why I say that is because the relationship is so new, and then you just you tell somebody I love you and three days or five days, that might scare the person away. You might be coming on too strong to them. That's well, why I say that. No doubt, no doubt that you might be, you are coming on too strong. And what about the other, <laughs> what about the other person? If if he or she doesn't answer, are you a psycho? They have to worry right. about, about, uh-oh, what, you know, what if I don't, you know, I'm seeing dead rabbits in my, in my pot. Stop. that's scary. I'm gonna dream about that stuff. That's from a movie, you know? <laughs> So also, since we have a love guru here, is there a personality profile of a single person that says, I love you too quickly? Mm, that's a good one. <laughs> Again, if somebody says, I love you quickly, I believe that they are missing love in their life because okay. they're trying to have that person love them fast they're looking for love and you're and yearning for love and want it so bad to where they're telling that person so that that person can feed them back the love fast like how they want it you it doesn't work like that it's trying you to know you, you got it's to know to a boy yeah trying to fill a boy. right right yeah. so it, it just doesn't work like that michael says yes the words i love you too so negatively impacts the relationship just like I said, yep. the actions should yep. say, I love you. So the actions should right. say, I love like you. That, yeah. Not, <laughs> the verbal. Not the verb. Not the verb. That's right. Girl, That's you right. can show who Gustin is. Ooh, I think I love you. <laughs> you know what? What about um, Jerry Maguire's turn? It was a Jerry Maguire's turn. And everybody Which one? Show me the money? No, not show me the money. That's another thing. There's people out there with that too. Okay. They equate that with love, but we won't go there. <clears throat> That's another show. But check 
out, you guys. Remember when, um, what's her name? She had facial surgery. She got a facelift that kind of changed her whole self. You know what I'm talking about? The um, the, the she, yeah. yeah her. She, um, she said, oh no, he said to her when he came in that house with all those women that were having that meeting and they had had the breakup or whatever for a bit. And he was like, you complete me. And everybody was just like, I'm dead. I, I, I'm, it's over. Everybody was just like, that is the turn of the century. But yeah. that like not good. I mean, because this is what we're talking about right because now. Because we already you said I mean? that like, you need to come complete before you get a Exactly. Control. But I mean, I'm thinking about that. What, do you guys know that was a hashtag? You didn't even have to add yeah. hashtag, but that was a hashtag. That was a fictional movie. Right. But him saying, I mean, especially in front of all these women, it was like this declaration. You complete me. And she was like, you had me at hello. So I mean, <laughs> you know, so I say that to say that it can be a term of endearment in a moment, you know, to try to express yourself because like you said, you know, your actions, right? But I don't like his comment. I, and it's true because it is a I love your comment. And our friend, we're gonna give Shy, we're gonna give Shy her Shy, her, 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 her props because Shy has a t-shirt that says, What is a verb? And Ooh. so it is. That's so powerful. So hashtag it's Shy. Radio. That's right, hashtag Shy. Shy. But um seriously though, you know, in terms like that. It's cool to express yourself lovingly, especially when you want to express your love for somebody and, you know, but be careful because that's a fine line, yeah. you know, for terms like yes. you complete me, yeah. you know. I got a few comments on the world. Paul says, website does exist. And I think that was for us. Uh, Ms. Barney says, saying I love you too soon can negatively affect a relationship because love carries certain obligations in a relationship. Good point. And there's a winner if we were to do a poll. Jackie says, wow, I believe two human beings can meet and experience an instant spiritual connection where the vibrations of an agape love exist. For those of you who don't know what agape means, that means love with yes. conditions. I mean, that's how God loves us. Yes. Yeah. So what do you think yes. about what she said, baby? Because remember our conversation yesterday? And I tell you, I believe our spirit is what? We're, we're spiritually connected. Mm -hmm. And look what she said. An instant spiritual connection. Mm -mm -mm. That's it. That's true. $2 in the mail. <laughs> My last $2. <laughs> but you know, what do you think about, let me ask you like this. Should a woman even if she's feeling that she's fallen in love, withhold it and let the man say it first? No. I said Benita. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I was thinking Benita out the bottom in my head. You got to put the hand. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so should I give a Benita out the bottom answer? Or <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Give, give both of them. Give both of them. We, we got to hear this. <laughs> That's so cute. She's cracking up. Okay, so Benita Alphabon, back in the day, she in back in the day, you know, if she was feeling that she was falling in love, um, she would be skeptical to say it first because she wanted to make sure that the guy was feeling the same way first. She wouldn't want to say it first back in the day. But I would say the uh, the older, wiser Benita, I don't know if she would be so quick to say I love you first, but I think she would let the guy know, you know, hey, you know, I'm feeling some type of way, or you know, are you you're feeling special to me at this moment? You know, like a way to let the guy know that he's special, but not actually say it. Okay. And then from there, you know, the emotions and the actions and all of that will eventually lead up to one of you guys saying, "I love you first, because it's action. It really is. Exactly. You know, you you two will be able to know and feel it. Yeah, you you will know. Exactly. You know, but I, I definitely I wouldn't be so quick to say it. I, I it you know. I, so, it just. I think it's. So I'm about to say something. So men out there, don't think that I would sit around watching chick flick movies because I don't, unless my wife wants me to. <laughs> but but I don't, I don't my, my wife, much. my wife was she loves Sex in the City, and I, I remember a lot of these other uh, you know movie with women on, and they're talking to their girlfriends, and, and, and it all says the same thing. It all they all say the same thing. Should I tell? I love him. Should I tell him I love him? No, girl, you gonna scare him off and all this stuff, right? So, women they they have this affinity for wanting to fall in love first, and you want to know if yeah. I say it first. 
no, no. Women do not want to fall in love first. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. The woman wants to. Well, be you know. Yeah. No, no, but listen to me. Shit. Let's tell you. I'll come. So here's the thing. Women do not want to fall. She's dying. Women do not want to fall in love first. Because remember, men want respect and women want security and love. Okay, so women want to know that you're already there. There's a safe place to fall. Then I can come in. And yes, yes, yes. But ain't no way she want to just be out there like I'm falling. But they do though. Can you catch me? I'm falling. I'm falling. No. Yes. They do though. I'm. Look, look. We gonna let him think he can think. No. I've been told. Yes. You were yeah. told by me. And I was, and I was like, oh, no, we might have a, uh, a newlywed game here, even though we're not using it. Treat a lie. 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 That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, I'm going to shut up on that one because that was a good one. Saul says, how long would you wait on average basis to utter those words? Uh, again, there's no timetable on it. Like, you know, I think I asked her. Um, to, yes. I, I don't think there's a timetable on how soon to hear. If she's been with him a year, he still hasn't said If she's it. not doing actionable items, right, if she's not doing that kind of stuff, it ain't happening. Yeah, but, but you got some people that just hold out and wait. You got those, they, we're talking to them. They want to know why they're still single. So okay. someone was out there just they just so, so we, my wife and I disagree, we disagree on the, on the answer here, but take it from me, dude. You can call me after the show. <laughs> Some people are always able to distinguish between love and lust. That's a good one because in the yeah. beginning, when you're still infatuated, it's all about lust. Ooh, look at them. Yeah, you got all that. Ooh, look at them guys. All that. All that. So anyway, all right. so I asked at first, do, is there a personality profile for single people? Is there a personality profile for single people that don't care if they're in a relationship or not? They're comfortable with themselves. They, 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 they have high self-esteem. Uh, you know, if they get a man, they got one. If they don't, they don't. They don't care. What do you guys think about that? I think that there are people that are comfortable with themselves because the best thing about that is that you're still living. You haven't put your life yes. on pause waiting for this person to come yes. in and say all these grand ideas of what you're going to do when it comes. What you're, gonna do. you're living now. You're continuing to go to school. You're continuing to, um, you know, to do whatever it is in your craft that, you're, um, that your profession is. You, you're going to go ahead and buy that house or that condo. You know, it's, it's doing, it's still living in the mess, taking trips and, you know, Joining, even if it's like, you know, I'm a little bored, I'm, I'm a little lonely, I'm going to join a bowling team. It's really coming, to, the, it, it's coming, to, it's coming to your own rescue. Yeah. It's coming to your own rescue. And when you love yourself first, then if it doesn't work out, it's not so devastating to where it's like, now i got to go back to this life. Like, my life is good. I'm good with the life yeah. I have. you got to be yeah. good with the life you have. God ain't going to give you more until he can see to trust you and where you are in that season. All right. So let's wrap up now. What about a question? Yes. Okay. One last comment. Well, we got a comment here. Saying I love you is only scary if you know that the love is true or unsure. That's the general mindset of the world. And that's true. So true. Um I gotta ask the needle. So, uh, Kim says she's too thirsty. Daniel says, I will shove her down the moment she starts getting clingy, <laughs> no matter how long it's been. <laughs> how do you really feel? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? She's got some answers. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, Benita. I mean, with your box and and you know a unique heart, how does you? How would this help this woman? I mean, how would this? How would this help her? Did you freeze? Okay. There we go. Am I? Am I okay now? Okay. Okay. So, like I was saying, like with the box, um the love in the box in the journal. You know, I have like a self-love guide in the box mm -hmm. and activities. It's like, it, that's the type of woman, if I got a chance to just talk to her for 15, 20, 30 minutes, I could uncover what is on the inside of her that she's lacking. I would be able to uncover that. And once I uncover that, then I can say, hey, I think you need to focus on this section right here in the book. Because in the journal, it's got the self-love section 
self-worth section and the self-actualization. So whatever section that she needs to focus on, that will be the part that will give her the aha moment and the breakthrough. And she'll say, okay, now I understand what I've been doing wrong in all these other relationships and she will get it. And once you get it for yourself, nobody else can't tell you that. She's yeah. got to get it for herself. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this one last thing. Does that same okay. book, can a guy look at that mm -hmm. same book and it equates to him just the same, those questions and, the, and all of that? Yes, let me tell you, I have had some men that has taken that journal and I tell them, I say, listen, I'm working on the man journal, but I don't like to rush stuff because it took me two years to you know, develop that one. I don't wanna just put something on the shelf. I like to be led about you know, what to put in the book. So, but the men, they are so, um, they believe in so much of things that, that I've been sharing with people to where I've had, I know a good 10 men that has taken that journal. And, yeah. and I tell them, I say, wherever it says queen or woman, just scratch it out and say man or king, man. you know, yeah. and then just because it's, because it's the same principles. It's the same principles. And when I tell you, I just wish that I could just put like a real big binder together to just show everybody the, the text messages and the inboxes and the, the, oh, I just wish I could just show you guys what I see. You know, if I could show oh, you that, you would really see the impact. In so, Benita, mm -hmm. instead of getting a binder, mm -hmm. go on your website, create a testimonial page, and throw all those in there. That'll work. I am. You know, I have. I, Say it again. I'm yeah. sorry. I, yeah, I think I am. One time I put like a collage of them together and just, just kind of posted it, you know, like scratched out their name and then just yeah. kind of let it kind of let people see, you know, no, the impact that it's been names. making. Don't redact the names. You can put like a first initial, last name, or just right. like that. Yeah, you don't don't redact it because people will be trying to look through the scratch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really good to do that because then people can see that they're not alone. I think that's the problem is people think I'm the only one, I'm, I'm crazy, I'm this is only me, I'm just, you know, obsessing over this. So baby, what about if you guys are being pressured to be married because, of, because of, no, 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 because of your biological clocks? What about it? What if you, so women put this pressure on themselves because, oh, I'm 40 now and I'm not married or I don't have any kids or- Right, but you know what, again, that's leaning on your own understanding. And, and you know what? I get it because we, we, you know, we come here and we play at Barbies and there's like, you know, this is this the line of what, what you do. This mm -hmm. is the motion. This is what you're going to do. You know, you're going to be a wife, you're going to be a daughter, a sister or whatever. You're going to have a profession. You're going to get married, go to college, a profession, get married. It's like, you know, it's, it's these steps. But you have to trust that you're made for bigger. Mm -hmm. And your purpose is what you want to pray on because your purpose is going to have everything in it that is going to make you feel that completion that's going to fulfill you. So when you seek Christ, it may be children. It may be single mother. It may be a married woman that, you know, ends up with taking on somebody else's kids. I mean, you never know what God's plan is. So pray for his plan, but most importantly, pray that he can equip you so that you can do it at your very best because you want to have again that bandwidth yeah. and you got to love yourself first in order to be prepared and equipped for what he's going to bring okay. so for hey, me hey, can I, say okay. Something? Okay. I was going to say i want to just add this because i don't know how much time we have but i feel like it's very necessary to say please for the single men out there the single women out there you want to find love but you keep mixing and keep talking to the exes, the exes that was yeah. once a part of your life. And you keep mixing that spirits. Yeah, you, you keep mixing those old spirits with your spirit and you're trying to get yourself together. But if you keep mixing your spirit with the old spirit, it's gonna keep you confused. Yeah. You gotta know what you want. Once you pray to God and say, God, this is what I desire. This is what I want for my life then take it from there and let it be you and God guiding you every step of the way. You can't keep, you can't live in the past and in the future at the same time. Ooh. You cannot mix those spirits with you and take them. You can't. So I just felt like that was very necessary to say because this was the topic of why am I still single? That could very well may be the problem. Yeah, you cannot, you cannot keep 
letting, um, you know, uh, Jennifer call and Jody call. And you just can't let the past be the past and move forward. Mm -hmm. God can't bless you in your mess. You got to get yourself straight. Yes, yes. Close those doors. Close them. And I guarantee you, when you close them and walk away from them and stay away from them, because what will happen is that ex will call you up as soon as, soon as they feel, because they could feel it now because your spirits have been entwined. Anytime you have sex with somebody, that's spirits. And so your, yep. your, your, your spirit feels that. And this, the minute that ex think you got somebody, that's um, yep, here they come. Yeah. Here they come. Next thing you know, okay, so you meet this person, you like them, that could be, be the one. But here come that ex calling. Hey, I just want to know if you want to go out. And then now the and, and, and now the new person, you're scared. Yeah, and now you're scared to call Take it out. If they call you at three in the afternoon, I mean three in the morning or four in the morning, you already know what call that is. So they can easily call you at three or four in the Even afternoon. Even if they call you three or four in the afternoon, it can still be the same thing. Honey, don't fall for the banana and the tail <laughs> Saul always keep this in biblical. It's like trying to put new wine into old wine skins, right? That's 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 the yes. So I think you guys on for my point to the lady, I think you guys talked on it, uh, touched on it a couple of different times where don't be so judgmental about yourself, right? Uh, because you should you should look at yourself in the mirror. And if you don't like something about yourself, change it, fix it. You know, it's easy to do. I mean, I wouldn't go getting a facelift or anything like that, but just be happy in the skin that you're in. Because if, because if you're not, you know, guys, so we're, we're like this, right? You know how, how a shark smells blood in the water? A guy, we can tell when a girl is thirsty and, and running up on us and stuff like that and everything. Yeah, you know, you've got to be that woman that, you know, that standoffish to that guy. The one that, that's going to give him a hard time. The one that's not going to give up the number. You know, he's going to have to write down your license plate and, you know, talk to his buddy at DMV. Hey, man, can you see who this well, is? I know, I know. I know but, but, uh, well, I, I'm just saying, I never did it before, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know, you don't want to be that approachable. I don't care how much you think you like that guy. You don't want to be that much approachable. We like the thrill of the hunt. Yeah, but you know what? Honestly, I, mean, I understand that this is a woman's world, but I really think we should have a title. Why am I so comfortable? I think we should teach you a man with your thing because you're earning big time out there. And the thing is, we get approached by guys. You know, they come to us and they're saying, hey, hey I'm you know, going to be in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, you help me. And so I think that that's why I was asking the media, you know, could this go for them just the same? I think it's very important for us to just feed our self-esteem when it comes to our spiritual walk with Christ, because we are worthy and we are wonderfully made, all of us. Yep. And so that is, that's it. That's all. I think that that's where it begins and that's where it ends. And if you focus on your walk with Christ, that's in anything that we want anything that we want, whether it's promotion, whether it's, you know, employment, whatever the case may be, it's the desires of our heart lies in our relationship with Christ. And this is not religion. This is relationship. We draw near to him and all these things will be added unto you. So, you know, trust him and walk with him and care about what he thinks more so than the opposite sex really are the same sex. I don't know what, you know, your story is. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just, I'm just saying period, whatever, because you, you have to be very close. It's a fine line with idolatry. So you have to be very, very careful that you are walking in the spirit. So, you know, my, my, my last point to the lady in the letter is the fact that you should look at your partner's verbal and nonverbal cues as to how he's acting. And I think this goes to what Michael and then my wife said about the actionable items to show you I love you instead of saying I love you. So watch out for their verbal or their physical cues so you'll know when the right time. It's like playing double dutch, you know, trying to jump, trying to jump, you know, I'm in, ha, 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 you know. So <laughs> my thing is as long as I'm picking up the phone when you call me, you got my time. I'm just saying, you know, I'm talking to the lady. So what is that? I'm talking to Follow the fellow that's the greatest treasures are the one part of the time. That's so true. So
we need, we're gonna give you the opportunity. What's your closing arguments for this lady here? I would just say, young lady, um, just think um, long and hard about what we said. I, you know, I would, I would replay this, this episode. I would, I would replay it, and I would listen to everything that we talked about tonight because we did share some good nuggets. Um, you know, did we cover? You know, did we get to cover everything? No, because you can only be on a segment for so long. Um, I would say, you know, if you wanted to reach out to Terry and Tori, that's what they are. They are counselors. You know, they can, they, even though they're marriage counselors, they still can probably offer you some good, solid advice. And if you're not ready to speak to someone that's um, a profession, because sometimes people don't want to speak to counselors or therapists um, right away. That's the reason why I created the box because you can journal in your own space in your own time. And if you want to reach out to me, I would be more than glad to help you. Like this is what I love to do. This is my platform. I love love. I would love to um, help you find love. I would well, love to. Fine. Then, it, then people, yeah, people could reflect back on this video and say, you know what? I remember the young lady that wrote the letter. She took it serious, and now she's found love. I mean, how awesome would that be? You know what I mean? I would love to help you find love. I would like that is what I'm going to be doing for 21. You know, I, I, I you know, like my mentor, um, Ivy McGregor says, the ship is going to turn, which I'm talking about COVID. The ship is going to turn. Uh, but and she says that big ships turn slow. And so uh -huh. when they turn, you need to be ready. You need to be ready for when they turn. So help me, let, you know, let me or Terry or Tori or whoever, somebody that you trust, let us help you be ready. So when the ship turns, you could be there to find them. And, and I commend you for, I commend you for even writing in to the, t to the radio show, because what that means is that you want help. You're looking for help because some people are know-it-alls. You can't tell them nothing, but because you wrote out, you're reaching, you're searching for help. So, you know, trust somebody to help you, but I would be more than glad to help you find love, you or Terry and Tori, just whoever, but I, I commend you for being brave and writing in, and I hope that this episode helps you, um, but, but ultimately, I want to see you find the, the love for yourself first. Find that love for yourself, because I guarantee you when that right guy comes along, you're going to know it. You're going to yeah. know it with all your heart. You're going to feel it. Yeah. yeah. That, that's it. That. That's all I have to say. Two things on that. So one, we got my first point, but <laughs> tell everyone uh, how, senior yeah, senior moment, how they can reach you, how they can find out about what you do and where you're going to be or if you're doing any speaking engagements or anything. And you must come back. Yes. Please. Okay. Come back. okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, currently now I am working on um, some more um uh, boxes and and trust me you let me just say this I, I kind of didn't want to put it out there but because I love you guys this is the first time I'm announcing this uh -oh. we are coming out with some proposal boxes proposal boxes how awesome is that like, that is how that is how that is how much I believe in love I have the young lady working on it right now and we're trying to have it um in time for um Black Friday and for Christmas because you know people get all lovey-dovey for the fall and Christmas so that is what wow. I'm working on right now um, and so it, it, <laughs> yes and 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 I want to tell you guys this because I love you so much because you given you gave me a, a platform to share my 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 gifts and so in every love in a box I want to put your business cards in my box so when people are ready to go to the next stage and have counselors I need I want you to be the number one referral. So I want to put your cards in there. And then also, also when I do, when I do the love in the box, um, I have giveaways or things that I do like each month or whatever for someone that really wants the, you know, I will pay for their session to get the help that they need, you know? So I just, I just know we're going to have a, a love relationship. We're both passionate about it. You know what I mean? So I, I want God to bless you guys abundantly. And um, the referrals that I have, my referral base is high. So I, I just want to see you be abundantly blessed. And I want 
your card to go in every one of my boxes. So when people need a counselor and they want to talk to someone, they need to know who Terry and Tori is, period. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm like, let, let, let me add something to that. We, we, first of all, we, we are so humbled and honored that you would even do that for us. So, you know, <laughs> you thank you that. so much. Um, since you said that you would pay for a session, for every session you pay for, we'll give them a free session as well. Okay. Okay, it's done. All it's right. done. I, I I just want to help people. I just want to. I my God, if I can get you know, my goal is to get some marriages going this year. But like I said, that's why we're coming out with the proposal box. We're gonna and then and then you know, um, on the unique heart side, because everybody knows the love in the box side. That's the product side. But on the unique heart side. Um, I'm going to hold some classes, you know, with singles and, and, and couples. And I just think when you have that moment and you discuss the, the aha, when you discuss it and you figure out what's really going on down in here and you heal this right here, I believe if you heal your heart, you can heal anything because that's yeah. where you carry all your emotions. Your, your heart is, your heart is the center. That was, that's what drives you. That's what make, that's where you make your decisions from. You know, and so if you got a healed heart, you want to make the right decisions. Exactly. And somebody loves you, baby. <laughs> we love you guys. We love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Yeah. We're very honored and sorry at the same time. We thank you a lot. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes. Yeah. Hey, Linda J said, my desire is that the man for me will compliment me and not yes. try to complete me as I am complete oh, in Christ. Oh, yeah. Woo, so if I could give you higher than one done. of these emojis that's higher than a heart, Linda J, I would. <laughs> that is awesome. Yes. So what you got for your clothes? Yes. I just, you know, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to the woman who wrote the letter. I thank you for your courage. I thank you for opening up the yes. dialogue because your letter, just look what it did. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it led to blessings already. And so um, the blessings are just tenfold. You know, God's in the business. We can't outgive the Lord. Nope. And so he's going to continue to give. And so may he bless you. But you're going to have you, Benita, you give your information. Or you give all your information as soon as I finish. And okay, uh, type it in the comments yeah, uh, right now so people you can. Can, can see it. But okay. contact Benita Ledet and uh, Unique Uni Heart. Heart. And she comes mm -hmm highly recommended from us we've been saying that she's already been on the television show we said we must come on the radio show and i wanted to come back yeah. i want to keep coming back. <laughs> yeah. and so um we want to come together as a village so that you yes. are surrounded by nothing but love and advice and this village that applauds you and pushes you closer to christ so that you can move closer to all that he has for you so i thank you for writing this letter i want you to know you're not alone and that um, the Lord sees you and he hears you. And so um, that's just the beginning. So be encouraged, be encouraged. Well, earlier I had a senior moment and I forgot I had two points for you. I mean, when you were mentioning, I remember that, I'm, I'm just old. Anyway, um, when you were mentioning about the lady and the letter and all, so, you know, even though it's one lady that had written that letter, it, that one letter represents thousands or maybe hundreds of thousands of women worldwide that are going through this. So uh, we've seen it so many times where, uh, you know, all different types of people are suffering or going through the same things. So, uh, and when you're talking to one, you're talking to all, okay? So we thank you for that. So in my, in my closing arguments, remember, guys, communication is always the key in relationships. So as long as you can be open and honest about telling your partner how you feel, it's never too early or too late to say, I love you. However, keep it in context. You know, if you guys aren't doing that well and you spring, I love you on, on, on him or her, uh, you know, it's not going to work. Okay. So, and remember the words love and light both have four letters, but they're two different things altogether. <laughs> so, Somebody likes somebody you know, initially and think that it's love and, or lust, as uh, Mr. Bartley said, but it's not. So if you're considering saying, I love you, you definitely have to weigh the options of what's going to happen next because it's a serious thing. Make sure your 
partner that you're saying that to is on the same level. And finally, seek God in all of this, okay? Because if you don't, it won't go your way as planned, okay? So we thank our guests for tonight, Ms. Benita Ledette. Did you type in your information on the screen? I didn't. Well, I don't know how to do it because it's, um, you know, I still have the Zoom screen up. Y'all, you can see it from Facebook. Yeah, I'll tell you what, after we log yeah. off, then go back to the yeah. episode and uh, on our page and uh, the one on our page and, and put in your information. There. And I'll put it in too. If you want to text it to me, I'll put it in just the same. Yeah. Okay, and I'll okay. put it on okay. our page so on our page, see. yeah. So <laughs> guys, for those of you that are, for those of you that are tuned in late and want to catch the show from the beginning, we apologize in advance. It's raining, as you guys know, in Houston, storming. It's, it's storm. Storming. I keep saying rain, yeah, but it's storm. storming out it's and flooding in a lot of areas. So we decided to do the show from our perspective homes tonight. And too dangerous to drive. It was yeah, because at, at night you can't be in when I was on the East Coast. So it's like being in, in ice. You know, you can't see it at night. So you'll drown or slip in ice and fall and bust your head over whatever. I mean, that's a lot. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to preface, you know, the, the end of this and for the beginning that we sorry for the technical difficulties we had, but we got it ironed out soon enough. So uh, the rest of the show was fine and great. So we love our guests. We love the topic that, that was covered. Beautiful woman. You know, and we love Beautiful. all the people that commented. Thank you guys, as Ooh, I yeah. always we say. We love you guys. You know, you know how much we love you. We yeah. look forward to every Tuesday with you guys because you support us and we need you exactly. just as much y'all need us. I'm glad that you guys are with yeah. us. So remember, guys, in all of this, remember, we're still marriage counselors. So if you guys have an issue in your marriage, if your you're, relationship. If we you're engaged, we do a relationship counseling. If you contact us, we'll be sure to squeeze you in. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing. We got some Saul got clouds and lightning. Comments. I know, I know, but it's true. You yeah. know that Saul, the weather's horrible. Yeah. So yeah. guys, keep your marriage and relationship <laughs> courses coming into us. We read all of them and we, we read them because we put them in different categories. So when a topic comes up or a particular guest comes up, we'll know what category to go after to pull it out. So if your letter wasn't uh, read on the air yet, don't it's worry, coming. it's coming. Trust it's coming. me. So uh, again, we thank you guys because without you, there's no us. So we're going to pray out. Benita, uh, you're a spiritual woman. You want to pray us out? Would you please? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Father God, Father God, I just thank you for this amazing, wonderful time that we had tonight, Father. God, I thank, I thank you for the, the singles that tuned in tonight that really has a heart for you, God, and really want to find love. God, I pray over them right now in the name of Jesus, God. I pray that this episode touched something in their heart that gave them a breakthrough or an aha moment to where they are able to receive it, Father. I thank you for using Terry and Tony, uh, Terry and Tori with their um, gifts and their talents and, and to ha uh, have Christ-like um, love for you, God, and that this ministry that they have, this is a ministry outside of the church walls to where they, they really believe in love and they want to help people. And God, I thank you for connecting them with um, people, with their guests to where they can bring their visions to pass, Father. So we thank you for being in the midst of this. We kn I knew then earlier when we were having technical difficulties that it was the enemy that didn't want someone to be able to get the word or get the message. But God, you came through and I thank you for it, Father, because everything turned out just fine. God, I thank you for their lives. I thank you for their families. I thank you for um, continuing to protect us over COVID, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. I thank you for abundance. I thank you for no lack. I thank you for every, every step order every step that they make I thank you that they will be debt free that they will be um more than enough that they have that they that their shows will be a syndicated um top tv show father I just ask that you bring blessings on them like never before father because their heart is pure and they're doing your work and they're doing it for the love of you father so God I just thank you for Terry and Tori, I thank you for them. I thank you for the listeners. I thank you for their family. And God, I continue to bless their union in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.
Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was a beautiful prayer. Yeah. All right, guys, we will see you on Friday night for Love in Black with Tori and Terry. And who's that here? We're keeping it a secret. Y'all have to tune in Friday. But y'all can catch our promo. We'll put our promo out in yeah, a couple of days. We'll be out tomorrow. Yeah. The promo will be out tomorrow. So, we'll be out tomorrow though. Yeah. And guys, if you like our promos, I mean, you see we're going in a whole different direction. We got a lot of things going on. If you like our promos, hey, say something. We, we, we My boy Walter, you know, he said, hey, man, that's a dope promo you guys yeah, got. Yeah, you want to promote so, our like? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, you know, you'll see who created it because some of you might want marketing or need marketing assistance and he'll be able to help you out as well. Yeah, so, Seville, yep. very gifted. So check us out Friday night. 9 p.m. on Love and Black with That's Tori Central, and Terry. Central Standard Time, y'all. Yeah, and the webs. I'm not well. Even though it's on television, since you guys are normally on your Facebook pages, if you want to watch us on TV, go to our web, uh, go to our uh, page to see where we're playing, what stations we're on. But if you just want to pick us up on Facebook, go to our page at Love in Black with Tori and Terry, and you'll pick us. Uh, see us at 9 p.m. Friday night. And also join back in here on Tuesday, yeah. 9 o'clock. We'll be back in the studio then, okay? Love you guys with the love of Christ. Love y'all. Have a great week. Stay right. dry. Be careful and blessings. Benita, we love you, love you. Thank you so new much. Sister, thank you so much. Bye. See you soon. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Send me your information. I'm going to put it on the page, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.